they still don't have a woman of color on the Harvard Law School faculty. And I suggest that I am sharing the podium this afternoon with the appropriate purse. Now, I want you not to ask them to give her a visit. They don't make the white boys come for visits anymore. They give them tenure. Why there isn't a white We're a better country than you acting like. You're not America. You're not America. All of our children are better than how y'all act. Every one of our children act better than how y'all act. You're not America. Quit abusing our country. Quit abusing our country. You know, people that think like it. So without further ado, here's the first thing. Here's how you know if you live in a society where there's social justice. Would you be willing to take your life, right on a car, throw it in a big pot with everybody else, reach in at random and pull out another life with total confidence that it would be a good life? Well, then you got some work to do. Oh, no, man. In other words, not to say that you would wind up exactly where you were before, but that you'd be able to have a good life, that you would be able to, you know, put it together, figure it out. If you don't have that confidence, that confidence and you don't have, uh, that you don't live in a country where there's social justice, because in a socially just, as opposed to a, a, a legally just, in a socially just world, since we're all pretty much born equally ignorant, uh, we should have roughly equal chances to have good lives. You, you didn't do anything particularly spectacular at the point of birth, such that you deserve all this. Right? And so that's a, that's a high standard. What it means in a country like ours is we will constantly be striving. We won't, we won't, we won't ever arrive. To to recruit him into the White House. We've been watching him. Uh, really, for he's not that old, but for as long as he's been active out in Oakland and all of the ways that he has, the creative ideas that he has. And so now we have captured that, and we have all of that energy and enthusiasm in the White House. Yeah. Well, now okay. listen, here's the audio that we received late last night. Listen carefully. If this doesn't, if this isn't the final straw, this is from uh, 2008. Listen. Uh, one of the things that has happened, I think, too often to progressives is, that uh, we don't understand the relationship between minimum goals and maximum goals. Uh, so right after Rosa Parks uh, refused to give up her seat, if the civil rights leaders had jumped out and said, okay, now we want uh, reparations for slavery, we want uh, redist redistribution of all wealth, and we want to legalize mixed marriages, so that had been there, they had come out with a maximum program the very next day, uh, they'd have been laughed at. Um, instead, they came out with a very minimum program. Uh, yeah, we just want to integrate these buses. Uh, the students a few years later come out with a very minimum program. We just want to be a black man living in a country and a culture that is controlled by rich white people. Hillary can never know that. Hillary ain't never been called a n Hillary is married to Bill, and Bill have been good to us. No, he ain't. Bill did us just like he did Monica Lewinsky. He was riding dirty. The government gives him the drugs, builds bigger prisons, passes a three-strike law, and then wants us to 
sing God bless America. No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America for treating us citizens as less than human. We bombed Hiroshima. We bombed Nagasaki. And we nuked far more than the thousands in New York and the Pentagon. And we never batted an eye. We have supported state terrorism against the Palestinians and black South Africans, and now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yard.